Okay. Hey everyone, Swamp Fox here. Um, shout out to Crumbles. Thank you for the Patreon. Uh, I it's been like a month uh, since my last uh, video for <clears throat> Nice Seal Republic. If I remember correctly, I just added her to my group, uh, Bastila. I got. I got my femme fatales. We were about to go to another planet, maybe? Who is this guy? Do you like my Wolverine mug? When my hair grows out, I totally look like, uh, totally look like Wolverine. Um, what are the controls again? I've got to read, kind of mildly relearn this. Um, <laughs> hey, Tweak. I miss you, too. Uh, I am a Jedi. Um... I don't, I don't do that, that Sith shit. <laughs> also, I'm totally playing this without pants on right now. I'd show you, but it's against, it's against policy. Sorry, ladies. Oh, it's just way too hot in my house right now. It's, it's, plus I'm in my own home, you know. That's, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have pants on in your house. <clears throat> what the? Or you know, just get some strange runes on Dantween. Seems one of these places. Oh wait, no, we were totally not. Bullshit! I had 200 people watch me jerk off and come on my camera on here before like nine months ago. So I call BS. <laughs> I don't go, don't go into detail. I'm good. If there's a special Did I already check that shit out? I mean me if I'm wrong. Night tweet. Let me talk to the council. The council. The evil council. I wish you can be a Jedi with a red blade. I have nothing left to the lessons that yet await. Now that the first stage of your training is complete, I am certain they would be eager to have you aid us. Yep, pretty eager. For good or ill, you are now a true Padawan. The time has come for you and Bastilla to investigate the dream you shared. Okay. The secrets. Okay. Just gotta investigate that ruin. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps when we heard, we sent a Jedi to investigate. But he, the Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruin, the secrets to stopping Malak, may be hidden within those ruins. I will investigate sure the ruins right away. With you. There is a power of okay, so clearly that's somewhere on here. I love how I can play this exact game on my phone, and I'm playing it on like a $2,000 gaming PC. <laughs> You should do a game play on this game. I, I don't understand, uh, Red Wolf. I'm chopping this up and putting this on YouTube. I just haven't made it live yet. Just finished uh, Fallout 4 stuff. Strange Ruins. 
Let's head there. Oh, I don't have anything in my inventory to sell, right? Pretty sure I already went through all my gear. Seal Republic 2 is a lot better. about doing this game like a dad cry primal mission to mission I'm, I miss this game so much okay from what I'm understanding you want me to make these videos go live on YouTube If there's any cutscenes, uh, unfortunately, you'll miss them because of the way, like, Twitch and OBS work. That, that was weird. It was just a cutscene of us, like, walking. Like, that's stupid. I'll tell you what. After I edit this up and throw it up on uh, YouTube, I'll, I'll make it go live just for you, Red Wolf. <clears throat> this is part of my Steam challenge where I beat every Steam in my uh, beat every Steam in my game library, beat every game in my Steam library. Ancient Droid. <laughs> Inechuk. Okay, that sounded like a wookie. Or a pig bag. I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. Hey, I understood that. <laughs> I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. Why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? <laughs> That droid also has a giant gun as its like head. It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. Uh, I think they might be referring to the dead Jedi in the corner. Can't you put this to full screen? No, uh, unfortunately, I can't. Like I said, uh, I fiddled with OBS for like three hours trying to get this uh, game to full screen, but my monitor's uh, 16 by 9, 
and this is like 640 by 800 so it uses the 4-3 ratio I, I messed with it tried moving the boxes everything and I, it was unfortunately not able to Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. Uh, there must be some mistake. <laughs> My calculations aren't good. Yeah, it, it is annoying, but what can you expect when you're playing a game on, like, Windows 7 that is, like, 20 years old? <laughs> These builders must have been an extinct people, though it is strange there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. Oh shit! Ancient alien species? No one knows anything about? Sounds like Mass Effect, even though... Bioware made this game before they made Mass Effect. So, did Bioware just keep making the same storyline? Clearly, this droid was programmed to be racist. Or he must have just learned it after 20,000 years. The apex of the infinite empire. Tool of unstoppable conquest. Clearly, he doesn't know what it does. The droid is obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. The Star Forge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. Or in fact, it could be anything. Maybe. That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet so quickly. But I suspect the Star Forge is more powerful than a mere factory. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. If they are worthy. Do I have to just be like me? Temple's own protections will destroy those who seek knowledge. They are not deemed worthy. Okay, so I gotta kill some stuff to the left, and then kill some stuff to the right. Got it. Want to tell my other stream that I'm going to be watching the stream because wow got Malik boring. Unlock the sealed door and uncover the secrets of the Starforge. Now Malik is using the Starforge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Starforge. 
the Republic Thank you for us. explaining the objective to me, like, f the four times. <laughs> if you're not programmed for combat, what the fuck is that gun on your face, huh? I have a hard time believing you've been here 20,000 years and no, like, Varkin just walked in and shot, you know, just stumbled in or whatever. Jedi Knight robe! Okay. Are any of those bitchin'? Yeah. The blue matches my lightsaber. Okay, he said left. I should save. Because if there's one thing I don't do enough in this game, it's freaking save. Ah! What is this fire shit? That's new. He's immune to lightsabers. Fan fucking tactic. What is this shit? Sure, I told you. That. Yeah, there you go. Why do I have to be up next? Disengage. Sorry, Mr. Steel. Yeah, you died. It's okay. Go. Oh. Just eat all my fucking grenades. <laughs> fucking droids are lightsaber proof. This is bullshit. <laughs> Hey, you should bring Bastila with you. Both of you are, you know, Jedi who wield lightsabers. Duh. It's okay. What can I do? I will heal us with the Force. Um. Okay, if there's gonna be more droids sure. like that, I'm. <sighs> do I have another? What? Do I have a blaster or anything on hand? No. One eight. Blaster carbine. Droid enhancements. This ancient computer hums and throbs as you approach it. The screen flickers to life, and a stream of incomprehensible characters scroll across it. So the Matrix. Press a button. A new suit can sit equally across the computers. Press many buttons. Talk to the computer. Attempt to slice ancient systems. Kick the computer. You kick the computer. Your foot hurts. <laughs> uh, press many buttons at random. Insert your data pad into the receptacle. Sugar, Jafus, Wins, Press the button. Uh,
Did, did I do it? Oh, okay, I think I did it. You just have to say which planets can bear life. Well, sure as shit isn't going to be a volcanic planet. <laughs> you have to pick the right answers or you will die. Oh, okay. That... Good to know. Hey, there's a decent amount of folks watching. I always get a lot of random people whenever I'm streaming uh, in Kotar. We will save again. I know there's a quick save button, but I just don't trust it. I don't know about you guys. Kill it with fire! Suck ion! <laughs> Wait, now this one's immune to blast of fire. I swear to God. How dare they, they add difficulty to this? Attack it! Oh. Never mind, frozen power. Eat grenade! I just keep tossing grenade there. The only way I can guarantee. Damage. I did like four damage to it. Hey, Red Bro. We're just hacking away destroyed. No hands. That good. No. It's okay. Disable droid. That's an option. Do that. Why did <laughs> I didn't know she had that ability? I feel like an idiot. Ah. <sighs> well, I don't know about you guys. I feel stupid. Ten minutes later. Ten hours later. Like SpongeBob transition. There's no loot in this room. This is bullshit. I just fought this guy for like eight hours. And I don't even get anything from him. Okay. Save real quick before I play the death game. 
so I don't have to kill that robot again. Uh, press button. Press many buttons. Talk to Pooter. Kick Pooter. Nope, that didn't work. Damn, I thought it would. Uh, talk to Pooter? Continue. Identify the three primary death giving seed worlds. Okay. Desert, volcanic, and barren. So there was a death seal and a life seal. Okay. Interesting. Oh, you guys are like dead, so. Ah! Let me just cure the shit out of you. What? With You know, if they could heal themselves this quickly, I'm pretty sure a lightsaber through your chest could easily just be like, well, okay, I'm better. But, well, not like through your heart, but like, like Qui Gon ate it in his stomach. He he had hours to live. He would have been, he would have been fine. What can I do? How are you so good? Are you in the witness protection program? Did you have to relocate? Oh no, I, my PC was broke for two weeks, so I wasn't able to stream. Let's talk to Robot here. Oh, okay, I got it. Never mind. Anything to kill in here? No? <gasps> Those questions were pretty easy, Red Wolf. I I don't want to insult your intelligence, but like Oceanic, you need like three things. Like, think about where people live. <laughs> They don't live in barren wastelands. They live in grasslands, um, near the ocean, and what was the other one? I can't even think of it. It's like tropical or something like that. And then, like, you obviously can't live in a volcano or near a volcano because that doesn't usually end well. Ask Pompeii, and uh, what was it was, it was barren volcanic in something else? Oh, if you were seven at the time, yes, then that was that's probably why you got that wrong. <laughs> That's probably important. This, this must be what Revan and Malik found when they entered this temple. This must be where their journey down the dark side began. So is it going to turn me to the dark side? I will not let it hold sway over me. This is a, a map. Some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Revan and Malik must have used this to lead them to the Star Forge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Starforge ourselves, but we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. I, I don't know, but Revan and Malak were very interested in finding it. It must be a tool of some type, or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the Council can tell us more, but I think this map might be the key to finding the Starforge, whatever it is. See this world here? This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, and this is Kashek, and Tatooine, and his Manath, there are pieces missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates, corrupted data, and there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Star Forge itself might be. What good is an incomplete map? I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Star Forge, but I know that Revan and Malik visited Korriban at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces that will lead us to the Star Forge, it's some way to destroy it. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action. Though I suspect our task has only just begun. Woo! Stuff! 
Go click it. I didn't even like download it, it's just here. Okay. So let me get this straight. The council literally just one area away from this uh, hasn't ever walked in. There's <laughs> I'm a bit disappointed, council. I mean, there was literally just two droids in here. You couldn't, uh... You couldn't have sent someone else. <laughs> Clearly, Nemo did not know what planet sustained life. Oh! 